least stay and have some breakfast, eh? I've still got a load of packing to do, and not just for me, but for Ryan and all. And you're sorry you stayed and you just want to get changed and leave? I never said that. So, come here. So you're not sorry you stayed? I'm not sorry, no. But I am short of time. Well, what are you talking about? You've, you've got all day. What time are you leaving? I can't remember. Peter, please don't make us have a row. I'm not doing well, you will if you carry on like this. And then I'll leave, and that's how we'll remember each other arguing. So stop arguing and sit down. Look, Peter, I really honestly do not have the time. I've got to meet JD at six o'clock. If it's not one bloke, it's another. Luke, JD. Well, now I am beginning to wish I hadn't stopped. No, you're not. No, I'm not. OK, look, I'm going, and not because I want to, but because I have to, right? So let's keep in touch, yeah? What are you doing lunchtime? Packing. Look, and look after yourself, right, because you're a lovely bloke. What time are you actually leaving? Now. Ah, no. Michelle! Hang on. Just wait. Shell, let me... Let me just say this. What? Come to Roy's and have some breakfast. Oh, Peter, I don't do breakfast right, and I've told you I haven't got time. Come on, you've got loads oh. of time. <laughs> you just get off me. Ah, oh, come on, you're not just sneaking off like that. I wish I had to know I was still asleep. No, you don't. Oh, well, I will if you don't get off me. Then I can go away glad that we had last night, instead of thinking, oh, what a terrible mistake, because now it's led to all this. OK. Because I really don't want to think that. I don't want you to either. Right. Well, I'll see you then. Have a good trip. Now, I want you... Are you listening? No. I want you to ring me when you have your dinner time to let me know you're OK. Why? Cos I'll be worrying. And if you don't, and this is not a threat, it's a promise, then I shall turn up to your school and I shall come into your classroom asking about you in front of everybody. Do you want that? No, I don't think you do, so ring me, right? Yeah, OK. Oh. Hiya, come in. Hiya, is it Um, Well, he's not talking to me. So you'd better ask him. All right, Chess. Only the bus leaves in about five minutes, mate, so you're all set. Can't wait. You've no idea how good school sounds after her teaching me. I'm sure Fizz was a great teacher. Oh, yeah. Best there is, if you want to learn how to lie. Chesna, don't say that. You don't mean that. Uh, I think he does. Anyway, listen, you two, I'm ever so grateful. And what for? We're going to school anyway, so we might as well take him with us. Yeah, and if Kenzie just says out, Ben will see him off. And if I don't, I know you will. Have you seen this one kicking off? Uh, I've seen her mother. Is she anything like her? What's that? Fierce? Scared of nothing? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Right, we're going now anyway. I don't want to stand about here talking about nothing all day. Yeah, we're going. Bye. Bye, Ben. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. Oh. Post. Oh, cheers. And what happens when we land? Is Sarah organising a taxi or have we got to do that? No idea. Grant, do you want me to go up and up? Oh, yes, if you don't mind, my sweet. Yes, thank you. And you can carry on your little chat. <laughs> I said I'd ring Sarah tonight, so I'll ask her then. Yeah. Oh, and we need to get a present for Bethany. Yeah, come on. Grandma and great-grandma getting off a plane. It won't look good going empty-handed. Oh, what she's into these days. Right, I'm off. Um, you are getting that prescription for me, aren't you? Only I'm going to be running out. When I go into work? Because I can get it myself. No point when I'm going in anyway. No, don't suppose there is. Um, OK, I'll see you later then. Bye, Audrey. Bye. I'll ask Sarah that tonight as well. Can't wait to see them. Me neither. I just wish they were coming back with us. Peter! Peter. I just thought that you must have stayed over at Luke's. <laughs> Peter's. 
Well, you want to make your mind up. I have, which is that I'm not going to see either of them ever again. Do you know, I think that is probably a good idea. Mm. I'll get that. Oh, thanks, love. But, you know, maybe it's just because I knew I was leaving, you know, that I spent the night with Peter. Yeah, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, I'm just a bad girl, aren't I? Hey, there's a lot worse round here. Hmm. Oh, that is true. Uh-huh. Oh, thanks. Hi, Fizz. Hiya. Right, I'm going to go and get dressed. Well, just remember to keep your clothes on this time, eh? <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> well, I did, but I honestly don't want to hear any more. Right, and you're not going to. Listen, I'm going to give you some money for Phil's mum as well as some for you to keep, so come on. Are you not working? No, I've taken a day off in case anything happens with Chesney. Oh, yeah, he's gone back to school today, hasn't he? Yeah, and fingers crossed he stops there. <laughs> but look at what I've just got through the post. What is it? It's the last letter I wrote to John. I just put it in an envelope and sent it straight back. Why has he done that? To let me know he doesn't want to hear from me anymore. Morning. So, you're going to tell me just what's going on then? What's going on? Uh, uh, sorry, what exactly are we talking about here? I saw you. Both of you this morning. Okay, well. So you'll know what's going on then? Yeah, I do now because I saw you both, but I wouldn't have done. What kind of game are you two playing? No. It's no game, mate. It's not a game. What you saw. That was only last night. It was the first and it was the only time that it happened, okay? A one-nighter. If you want to call it that. No. It's what you want to call it. Me? I'd call it doing the dirty on somebody. Oh, come on, mate. I've learned me lesson. Never turn me back on you again, pal. I can't say I blame you. I don't know. It's all right, it's Gary. It might be all right, but it's not working. Not at this very moment, though. Or any other moment. That job he had fitting kitchens. How long did that last? He didn't take to it. Not suited. He's not suited to work, that's the trouble. He just needs time to find himself. It reminds me of myself at that age. <laughs> it reminds me and all. That's what's worrying me, because when are you going to find yourself? That happened yet, has it? I'm saying, give him a bit of slack. Slack? I give him three meals a day, money when he has done. All I'm saying is, when's he going to start chipping in his share? Roy's cafeteria. And a window speaking. No, sorry, she's not here right now. I don't know where she's got to. Oh, oh, yeah, she's just a second walked in. Hang on. Emily Bishop. Oh, that was good timing. Hello, Emily. (sighs) Where is he now? No, we've neither of us the slightest idea. I thought we'd already had this conversation, Peter. Yeah, well, I told you I've got loads of packing to do. Okay, so I'll come round and I'll talk to you while you're packing. I just don't think there's anything to talk about. And there's the door. Look, I'm going to have to go. Somebody at the door, you know, I'm not sure that I believe that. (sighs) All right. I'll tell them to talk to you then, shall I? Then you know I'm telling the truth. Hiya. Uh, I've got to go. Bye. All right, if I come in for a minute. Well, um... It's just I saw you leaving Peter Barlow's this morning. Oh. You might say that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, come in. Thanks. <clears throat> um, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that you had to see us, but it really isn't what it, what it must have looked like. Yeah. I've had all of that already. What, from Peter? Uh Uh-huh. Right. 
So, um, what, what do you want me to say? Nothing. Just listen. I know we said that me and you wasn't going to get serious, just a bit of fun. Then I saw you with him and I realised it couldn't be more serious. Michelle, I don't want you to go. I want you to just stay here with me. I, um, well, I've fallen for you. It's as simple as that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Luke's just call around to say tra. I'm begging you. Give us a chance, me and you. Yeah. So all that stuff you said about, you know, how it's all just for fun, nothing serious. I meant it when I said it. Well, what now? You've changed your mind. Utterly and completely. So what's to say you're not going to change your mind again? There's no chance of that. None. Look, I'm really sorry, but I'm, I'm not going to change my mind either. I am going. Are we going to be having some dinner then? Yeah, we are, yeah. And in fact, I'm going to make us a proper meal, seeing as how it's going to be our last one for a few months. I'm sorry, I've, I've got a lot to do. That's OK. I've said all I came here to say, and it's obvious I'm wasting my time. Have a good trip. Oh. Why do blokes always turn serious on you? I don't know. <sighs> David! David, come on, listen. Now, you know I'm off to Italy with your mother. Yeah. Yes, well, Natasha's in charge. So don't cause any trouble. When have I ever caused anybody any trouble? Oh, well, I won't answer that. No, actually, I have every confidence that both of you will run it like clockwork. I mean, I'm only away for a week. Well, I'll say a week. Oh, sure, it's been such a rush and I've still all sorts to do. That's why I don't go away, it's too much hassle. For that and I've no money. And nobody to go with. And? I still haven't got that burglar alarm fixed. I mean, what is the good of having an alarm on the wall when it doesn't work? I just hope the burglars spot that box on the wall and that scares them off. Yeah, probably will do. Anyway, I haven't time to do anything about it now. And I've got them security lights that flash on and off on their own, haven't I? Relax, it'll be fine. You go on holiday. Enjoy it. Oh, yes, I will, my dog. <laughs> oh, good lad. So you are pleased to be back then? Oh, charming. You're Chesney. Yeah, he's gone back to school today. Anyway, he seems all right so far. No, what we're saying, everybody I know has been in prison. They've come out worse than when they went in. Is it a relative you're writing to or...? It's just a friend. Oh, it seems to make them hard, you know what I mean? And the nicer they've been before they go in, the worse it affects them. Which is why I was so relieved our Gary was acquitted. You know, that business with David Black was up in court for. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I can't tell you what a load off my mind that was. Hey, Biz. Anna, that phone call from Emily. The one you nearly weren't there for. <laughs> yes, yeah. She's asked me, can I pick up some uh, provisions for a church function so I'm off to wholesale? Are you going to be all right on your own for a bit? Of course I am. All oh, right, well, I won't be long. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, Bye. Yeah. Bye. He might come out and be just the same as he was when he went in. I wasn't expecting you. No, I know you weren't, but I, uh, I had to come past and I thought I'd just see if you'd collected them pills yet. No, I was going to do that this afternoon. Why? Do you need them now? Well, I never know what I'm going to need till I start on a job and suddenly the pain hits me. Do you want me to go now? No, I'll, I'll, I'll manage. I've still got a couple. But you'll definitely have them tonight, yeah? Definitely. I wish you'd said I could have... No, I'll be OK. And if I'm not, I'll just have to suffer, won't I? Joe, let me...
I'll do. You have to work then. Well, I'm not going on my holidays. No. Look, I know that you probably think I let you down before. And I'm sorry about that. But I just wondered if we could forget about it and whether you might have any work for me now, like... Ooh. Funny that. What? All I have to do is start talking to you and I get this really nasty pain. I have to take a painkiller. Even then the pain doesn't go away altogether. Not till you do. No need to get smart. Well, maybe there is. On the part of one of us. You want to make yourself more acceptable on the labour market? Stay away from my daughter. Am I all right to go for a bit of lunch now? Well, only if you've got no more clients. What does the book say? The book says... Mm. There's nobody till smelly old Mrs Ryland's at half one. David, I don't think it says that. Right, well, can I go then? Yep, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, uh. Not the mate. Come here, so what do you want? Just wondering. I've said I'll do it, so when do we get going? Says you'll do what? Oh, come on, Dave, don't mess me about. I'm sick of people messing me about. Yeah? Well, look at it from my point of view. How do I know I can even trust you? Because I'm desperate. I've got no job, no money. I'll do anything, I don't care. All right, it's a contract killing. 10,000 down, you get another 10,000 when you've done it. I'm going to be provided. <sighs> nah, I'm only joking. All right, you're in. Yeah? Yeah. But you don't say a word to anyone, and you do exactly what I tell you. Sure, you're the boss. What sort of house is it anyway, whereabouts? I'll tell you that later. Just got a few final details to iron out first. All right. Hey, mate. It's your moment. Yeah, come in. So. Yeah, I know. You haven't got time to talk to me. You've got to get everything packed, ready for your big tour. Right, so if you know, then... Why did I come? Because you gave me no choice, Michelle. You wouldn't talk to me. And anyway, you've got loads of time. You told me you're not leaving until tonight, so... Right, so... Maybe all that was just an excuse and it's just that I don't really want to talk to you. Could be. Ryan, mate, you... Couldn't leave us alone for a couple of minutes, could you? Well, not till you've finished your lunch. Come and sit down. Well, I'm not hungry. Well, you were till he arrived. Now finish it. It's OK, mate. There's a... Uh, it's no rush. See you, mate. See you later. Um, you'll be back, won't you, before I go? Should be, yeah. No, I'm, uh... I'm sorry I, I kind of forced myself on you like this, Michelle. <sighs> Don't tell me you're gonna do a look on me. Do what? Beg me not to go. Because you've just realised that you want us to spend the rest of our lives together. You are. Can we not talk about Luke? Well, I was only saying... Look, this is not about Luke, is it? Forget Luke. Right. OK. Just forget him. I have. Last night, well, all the time that I've known you, I've, I've been getting to know you, I am. Um, well, it must have been obvious to you. You know, don't you? 
Well, it, it, it depends what we're talking about. Come on, Michelle, you know what I'm talking about. I'm crazy about you. And I'm not just saying that just because of last night. It's been weeks. You know, weeks I've not been able to think about anybody else. I'm coming to work, opening the shop up, all I'm thinking is, she'll be there. I'll see her again. You know that. Well, I, I suppose I, I did wonder, yeah. Yeah. It's one reason, the main reason, that, um, that I knew I had to go. But it's not, though, is it? That's a reason for you not to go. Michelle, come on, that's the best reason there is. Don't. No, I have to. I have to say these things. I've fallen head over heels for you, and I think that you feel something for me. Don't you? Don't you? Yeah. Well then, so send this bloke a text, or ring him, or whatever, and you tell him that you've changed your mind and you can't go. And you're gonna stay here with me. And we will be back in Coronation Street at 8.30.